Hi there, this is another short uh, video presentation. I will be talking about something called Insure. Uh, it's an, a way to give surfactant um, and the uh, Insure is for Intubate, I-N, uh, surfactant, S-U-R, and then Extubate, E-X. And uh, giving the surfactant by this way, trying to man maintain the duration of ventilation and uh, because uh, the evidence show that the longer that you ventilate, the more complication, both short and long term. Um, so I'm gonna start and share my screen. And in this video, I will be uh, um, talking about uh, a way of giving surfactant, uh, what we call it closed method, uh, where we do not open the uh, ETT to the exterior and we use a catheter called MAC or multi-access catheter um, that is enclosed within a sterile plastic sheet and never open to the, uh, to the uh, outside. And the reason for that is to minimize the uh, contamination of surfactant. And also using two ports, one of them um, um, for the insertion of the MAC catheter and the other one for ventilation. And that's mean the uh, patient will be continuing receiving uh, PEP during ventilation, not like the open method where you um, detach or uh, disconnect the uh, hand ventilation or the ventilator from the um, HET and inserting a feeding catheter and giving a bless or giving surfactant. By this way, um, we uh, do not disconnect, so we give PEEP continuous, and there, that's why we will not de recruit the alveoli. And second, we use the MAC catheter, which is a closed method that will prevent the uh, contamination of surfactant and minimize the risk of infection. So we're gonna start here, and you can start that uh, process, start by inserting the blade of the laryngoscope, and then um, uh, catheterizing the trachea with the ETT, removing the stylet, and then connecting the uh, uh, CO2 detector to, uh, uh, to assess the accurately uh, catheterizing the trachea, also auscultating the both side. And you can see we use the flow inflation valve, uh, I mean bag, and you can see that there is no valve and the uh, respiratory therapist is holding the, uh, uh, is holding the valve by, uh, her hand to uh, control the uh, pressure inside the bag. And you can see I'm um, holding the ETT and looking at the uh, uh, calorie metric changes of the CO2 detectors. And then you can see that the respiratory therapist is disconnecting the uh, port of the ETT and connecting another port, which has two, uh, two ports one for ventilation and the other one inserting MAC catheter. And you can see the catheter is inside a closed system of, uh, and to prevent contamin contamination of the catheter with the, uh, with the exterior prior insertion. And you can see that we connect uh, the syringe to the MAC catheter, inserting MAC catheter inside and then injecting surfactant and then pulling, pulling it back. And we like to give it in two alicots to prevent incidence of uh, hypoxemia and uh, by always monitoring the oxygen saturation and the heart rate. Another insertion to give the second dose of the uh, bless or second aliquot through my catheter. So injecting the bless and then removing it. And after we've done, we take the tube out. making sure the vital line and taking the tube out. And you can see during the process, we did not remove the uh, uh, CPAP. We were using CPAP with RAM cannula. So that's the end of the explanation of using uh, Insure in intubate, giving surfactant and extubate in a closed method using multi-access catheter or MAC catheter uh, and uh, um, giving it in two alicots and using large volume surfactant, which is a bless, it's five mil, and some people or some countries using the four mil, which is the Sorvanta. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the video.